All right, welcome back to the Tuesday. So we got some more stuff to talk about. Uh, very interesting video really put out video, by yeah. Core A Gaming. Uh, uh, by AKA Gerald Lee. Yeah. Uh, look, he puts out great videos all the time. He does. Like this is not necessarily an exception. Like, oh, this is a great. Like they're all great. Oh yeah. But this one was particularly an interesting topic. Explain away. Uh, basically, he kind of went into why dumbing down fighting games is bad for the game and uh, kind of talking about, you know, how it's affecting Street Fighter V and how he feels like that that is kind of harmful to the game. And uh, just kind of goes into a bunch of examples, talks about, you know, um, God, I can't even remember all the details in there now. Um, I watched the video twice, too, and it's so funny that I can't, like recall a lot of the examples that he had in there but uh it was just it was just really well put together and just talked about how you know there's different ways and like street fighter 5's lack of defense oh that's right so basically he was talking about how it seemed like street fighter 5 was being made mostly for like viewers and less for the players and he had snippets from all of the Born free tweet interviews yeah. where just player after player was like, there's no defensive options. Yeah. I can't express myself in this game. This game is garbage. This game, I like, you know, well, that came from F Champ. No surprise. So, just a lot of those kind of situations. So, yeah, everything from uh, talking about the lack of execution in terms of how super stupid easy it is to parry. Right. Uh -huh. Right. Um, to uh, the fact that, like, there are no, like, really tough combos to. Uh, mm -hmm. To uh, the fact that there's you know relatively few defensive options and sort of all sorts of things that mm -hmm. he views as being dumbed down, so uh, I I liked the point of it because I certainly agree that dumbing down fighting games is bad mm -hmm. news. Mm -hmm. um, no nobody wants that in the competitive scene, right? Um, and but I think he made the good point that it's not just that the competitive scene doesn't want that stuff. There should be, and often for other developers, is more of a relationship between the the players mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the developer itself. Uh, that you know, uh, developer understands that it's beneficial to them to keep their hardcore fans right. engaged and happy. Yeah, and also uh, he was also talking about how the input lag forces oh, predictive play, as yeah, Ardas points lag. out. So yeah, yeah, for sure. So um, I mean, I think those are all great points. You know, I, I mm -hmm. certainly wish that Capcom was more plugged into what the hardcore scene wants, and that even if they disagreed with what people want at least like have a better community interaction i think these are things that everybody agrees yeah. with and nobody likes input lag right, right like it's right. even i as somebody who doesn't care about execution really i feel like they probably are a little bit too far south on that quotient mm -hmm. you know probably should be a little bit stronger than it is so yeah i think yeah, those are all I legit mean, that's the thing is like I, I i keep mentioning this all the time but all the highlights all highlights in fighting games are always when people do some crazy execution shit right like the Daigo parry. Yeah. Reason why, and he talks about this heavily in the video, the reason why everyone is so ecstatic about that video is because when you watch it, you know it's hard to do. You know that everything Daigo sure. did there was super hard to do, especially in the context of the situation. And so, you know, I still remember Street Fighter V's first viral highlight was Chris G doing the Sonic Boom loop mm. to Blockbuster John in an online match. That's right. It wasn't even a tournament footage. It was just, hey, look, someone finally did some really hard execution fun thing. That's true. You know, and, and, and then also Street Fighter IV, everyone loved the smug video where Viper did the unfortunate neutral jump at the beginning of the round. Right. You know, it's just like Daigo when he did the 20 hit combo right. with Momochi. Everyone loved that. And it's just like, I just feel like that's missing. I feel like that's missing. And, 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 and the, the combos, the hard combos, see, the, the, really the crux is this. Make the game so that there are hard combos to do, but the hard combos maybe generally do maybe slightly more damage yeah. than the basic BNBs. Like, just maybe like 10% more, 5% yeah. more. But what that allows is that for players to go for it in the middle of combos because they're feeling themselves... And they can express themselves. Like Gamer B, when he used Adon in Street Fighter 4, he would do a combo and then go into that weird, like, medium and the strong and the jab and the weird ever uppercut and the yep. double uppercut. Like, he would just do that because he was like, I'm feeling myself right. and I want to style on people. So, Yeah. Um, you know, personally, the things that I tend to remember or care about are not the execution side of things. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I know that I'm more on the I care less about execution right. side than most, so that's fine. Um, 
Uh, so, like I said, I agree with a lot of his points. I just feel like they're overstated when it comes to Street Fighter V because I feel like mm-hmm. the game does have... Execution aside, mm-hmm. right, obviously. Um, I, think, I feel it has a lot of complexity, and I feel like it's developing more and more complexity, mm-hmm. and that the people who are winning are winning because they are farther on the side of we get it first yeah, yeah, than yeah, everybody yeah. else does. So, um, so uh, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of stuff, and like it's very difficult to... Part of what he talked about was... Uh, the luck to... What was the other factor? Luck versus... You know, he had a graph, he had a chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I don't remember forgot. what that one was. But anyway, you know, not luck. Uh, whatever it was. Uh, he, he placed SF5 on that, or at least alluded to placing it on there, more on the mm-hmm. luck side. And I just don't think that that's real. Um, in fact, I feel like my saying I don't think that's real is inaccurate because factually it's not real. The results do not bear right. it out. Yeah, yeah. The results bear out that there's a lot of skill... It's just skill. I thought it was something else. Okay, love cross skill. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was something fancier than that. Uh, anyway, the, the the results of the game are just way too consistent. Yeah, way too consistent to to reasonably believe that luck is a bigger factor than most other games. Interestingly enough, like I I feel like that kind of is a little more in. So the thing that I don't like about Street Fighter V is I just don't feel like there's enough variety in the game. Mm-hmm. And the game caters to one particular type of player. I actually find that the consistency might actually be a sign of that. Is that in Street Fighter IV, a lot more people were winning because different styles worked. Mm. And the okay. greatest players of the different styles could succeed in those styles. But right now I feel like the, the results are so consistent because Punk, Knuckle Do and Fudo and those guys are all just the biggest go, you know, like crazy kind of guys. And even Daigo, you can see the way Daigo plays Guile. He is legitimately saying, you know what, I just need to EX flash kick more often because if I play logical, I can't win in this game. He is playing the craziest Guile that I've ever seen. And it it feels like he's throwing caution to the wind because he knows you can't win in this game by playing as logical as possible. Well, that's every video game. Right. But um, I, I feel like it's it's true. I mean, I agree. One of my critiques of the game is that there's not enough playstyle variety. Mm-hmm. I'm totally with you there. That said, I find a lot of playstyle variety between the players who are doing really well. Yeah. Um, it's just maybe not in the same way that it used to be. Uh, if you look at, like, Gachikun versus... Well, maybe more like, let's look at the Nikalis who do well, right? Like, Phenom and then Infectious and Haitani and... I feel like those guys all have quite different styles. Gamer B, I feel like those players are very not yeah. at all the same when it comes to how they play in Nikali. So it's one character, you got one guy who plays it like a grappler. Mm-hmm. One is like a zoner. The other couple are like, like a couple of them do random DPs all the time. <laughs> a couple of them are like very patient, but right. like capitalized. Mm-hmm. So you, there are these really different ways to play. So I, I, don't, I don't agree that it's the case that uh, you have to be wild. I do think it's the case that you can't sit there and play defensively and block. Right. I yeah, totally agree yeah, yeah, yeah. there. Uh-huh, but uh-huh. Uh, you cannot... Uh, you can't just wait it out. But I think that's fine. I mean, I'm yeah. totally cool with the game having I mean, that I, kind of style. I feel like the two more successful Nikali players, Phenom and Haitani, are the more YOLO uppercutty ones. Uh, like, yeah, I guess that's others. true. Like, Gamer B doesn't have the same success as those two. Not for now. Example, yeah, that's right? true. So. But Infectious just got third place and almost got into grand finals by playing it as a grappler. Yeah. So. And I don't mean by playing wild. And that's the thing is that I, I I think that's just Daigo's interpretation of it. You know what I mean? But really, what it is is not being trainable. That's that's the main thing. That's about every game, the game, though. Yeah, but every it's, single fighting game. But in this game, it's so much more imperative because this game puts you into so many rock, paper, scissors situations. I, don't, I just don't really agree with that. I, I, I feel like if you get put on the defensive in this game, you've already lost. So yeah. um, you, the important thing about this game is movement. And if you look at, again, the grand finals of Rebel Kumite was movement versus movement, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Gachikun versus Nemo. That's just how it always is in, in this game. If you have better movement, you do better. Right. I feel like Punk has... Fantastic movement, right? Um, and I just feel that way about all the all the top players. Yeah, so. it's just interesting because, like, when I play something like, for example, like when I play Street Fighter Two, yeah, I play Cammy versus Ryu. Yeah, right? only time I'm ever guessing is to j- j- Yolo jump over a fireball, but outside of that, like, I don't feel like I'm ever guessing in that matchup. 
like I feel like I'm actually controlling the pace and I can just assert my game plan. Like I don't feel like there's guesses outside of jumping over fire. How do you deal damage? Because I just apply pressure and then I do crouching medium kick into drill and I do that enough to scare them into one thing so I can hooligan throw them or I can walk up throw them. It's all about conditioning. It's all about getting, but I'm never guessing. I'm never like, you know what, this time I'm going to go for hooligan. This time I'm going to go for drill. I do feel like I'm actually conditioning people. This sounds just like arguments that I, are from like the third <laughs> strike days. Uh, and if there's anything that I learned from third strike, it's that everything's guessing. Every, every time you do crouch and medium kick into drill, you're betting that he's not going to do a delayed DP, right? Every time you do walk-up grab, you're, get, you're betting that he's not going to do a DP or a sweep or a mm -hmm. counter grab or something. Every single thing is a guess. Every fighting game is like that, and it's inescapable. It's just something that you have to be okay with if you want to play not even just a fighting game. Mm -hmm. When you play any strategy game, chess, every move you make is a guess. Obviously, it's educated. Right. Every move you make is nevertheless a guess. So you just have to be okay with that in strategy. I mean, it's but it's definitely exaggerated in five compared to the other fighting games, I just, in my opinion. Well, because I mean, look, you don't have very many defensive options. So I feel like if you get knocked down, you're, it's your ass. But that means that the neutral game is super important. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. controlling that is uh, is where the game is. Yeah. And I think that's I think that's cool. I feel like this. It's, 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 like, remember we're talking with. Uh, it's the Marvel situation again. You just you can't. If you've yeah, got like knocked Marvel. down, you're already like, lost. You're yes. already lost. Like now you're in this horrible situation. You shouldn't have been knocked down in the first place. Correct. And it's right. like St. In that in that same regard, mm -hmm. like you better not let Honda do the bear grab on you because you're gonna die. Right. Right. Uh -huh. I mean, it's uh -huh. you, if you're dictator, you better not get ticked by Zangief because you're dead. Right. Like it, so, it's it's these very dangerous situations that you feel like you have control over because you know the game super well. I get the feeling because I feel like I certainly have more control in the games that I know really well than versus the games I'm still learning, mm -hmm. like SF5, because mm -hmm. everybody's still learning that game. Right. Uh, in Third Strike, I feel like I have control a lot, even mm -hmm. though I'm playing a terrible character and I'm losing most of my matchups, and I, there's a lot of guessing. I feel like I have control because I know all the things. Like, right, right. Like I could guess left or right or up or down, but I know all those directions, you know what I mean? Right. Whereas in, in SF5, we're still learning, like, how valuable is down versus up? Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't we're still figuring that stuff out, so yeah. it feels volatile, I mean, but like, it's not. I know, for example, like, I'm not trying to say that, like, Punk is, like, the luckiest player because he's, but that's what I mean, but Punk has a mindset where he can win really well because he's so good at mixing up between the, shimmy options, the throw options, the needy options, the frame trap options. Yeah. He understands that really well. Oh, yeah, well, totally. You know, and he's the best at that. And and I'm not trying to downplay his strategy. I'm just saying that that's the only way you can win at Street Fighter V in a lot of ways. You win by playing the neutral game and by moving. Yeah, but I just don't feel like there's enough variety between the characters. Well, I'm, again, really, I'm with you with that. You would, to, to, to really play that. In, in the, in the um, I'm, I'm definitely with you there. Yeah. Uh, look, whether ge guesses are reads or not, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like that's not mm, a good question, or, or not like a real point. I feel like it's like fi like kingdom guesses, and then like phylum reads in there, and then phylum <laughs> I threw dice, like stuff like that. But it's definitely under guess. Hmm. It, it is. I mean, factually, you're not sure what the opponent's going to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. As a matter of actual fact, you have to guess what they're going right. to do. Right. It's guess, a guess. I guess that's my, my point is that in... Okay, so the best way that I've explained this before, right? This is how I see the guessing situation is that in older games, literally, it's like... So in Street Fighter V, it's rock, paper, scissors, right? So it's guess. It's just basically guessing, mm -hmm. right? And that's what rock, paper, scissors is. However... I feel like in other games, it's more of a situation where you have these guessing scenarios, but let's say there's five possible outcomes. Doing this option handles three of the options. Doing this option handles two of the options. Doing this yeah, one handles four of the options. Huh? Doing this one handles these three options. This one handles these two options. And so the guess isn't as prolific like it's not a one-to-one -one guess you know what i mean like literally in street fighter 5 it's like i'm gonna meaty or i'm gonna shimmy or i'm gonna throw and that like your defensive options is a one-to-one -one ratio with their yeah, offensive mix-up 
yeah. right? Whereas in a lot of the other games, one defensive option will cover like, like at over 50% of the options that they can come up sure. with. And so it's less guessy. You know what I mean? It's, it's more of well, a... It's just as guessy, but you're likely to cover more options with a single guess. Right, exactly. Yeah. Which makes it a little bit more that you have to read the opponent. You know what I mean? That you re- it's, it's less trying to mix up between those three at a really good rate but more like, how do I condition this person better? I don't know. It, it, I just don't Those feel seem like, like competing things to me. Yeah, I just don't feel like I'm guessing as much when I play other fighting games. I think yeah. you're more used to other fighting games. I think we're all still learning a step yeah, five. Maybe. And I feel like at some point in the future, as always happens, mm-hmm. when Street Fighter Six comes out, SF5 players are going to say, can you believe how easy it is to hit confirm in Street Fighter Six? There's only three frames of lag. This is a baby's <laughs> game. Or they're, they're well, say, yeah, I mean, can, I've, you, like, I've... Can, can you believe Dragon Punch on Wake Up is a good option? How do you get any pressure? It's the death of the meaty. It's just a circle, man. Like this. Always, no, I mean, I've always said always that. Happens. I've said that between four and five. I know everything that. I know. Be, yeah, uh-huh. we both said it, and yeah. it's, it's happening, and. Uh, we all we said that SF five is going to have people who think like mm-hmm. this game is for babies and right, it's going right. to suck and we don't see the value in X and Y and and uh, that definitely is happening. So I just man, don't let yourself fall into that trap. I mean, I, I still enjoy the game, right? But the thing about it is, to me, it, even in Street Fighter four, I felt like there was a lot of top players who actually stood up for the game. I I just don't see that right now. Yeah, I think that is true, but uh, I think, uh, in my view, uh, a big part of that is the money, is the fact that people are playing this professionally now. In Street Fighter Four, when that game came out, a lot of people just quit. They just didn't play SF4. Mm-hmm. They just kept playing Third Strike or whatever, right? right? Um, and you, we heard that a lot at the time, like, SF, they were stopping to play because SF4 was... A baby's game. It was too defensive. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. It was too slow. Crouch tech is absurd. It was dumbed like, down. Dumbed yeah, down. Very dumbed down. And so down. they just stop playing because there's like no reason to keep playing yeah. if they don't like the game. Mm-hmm. But if you can earn $150,000 playing a game, you better keep playing that game, <laughs> even if you don't like it, because uh, that's your money. Yeah. So I feel like that's a big part of the top player factor. Yeah, that's true. When it comes to that's that. That's definitely true. So. Uh, I don't know. Something. It's just. It's just. It, the reason why, it's not even like I'm mad at the game or I hate the game or anything, because I still enjoy the game. I still like the game. I like watching yeah. it and everything. It's just that when I see something like Corey Gaming put out this video, which is where this conversation kind of came right. from, is you know, is that he doesn't even have to try to find those segments and that many oh, totally. interviews of people just really mad at the game. And uh, to me, you know, my frustration, I'm trying to figure out what it is about the game that has caused everybody to dislike it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was even on Twitter today arguing with somebody because uh, the, the guy was like, you know, he wants to see if he can play Street Fighter 4 to teach him better fundamentals to be better at 5. And I was like, hmm. it's not necessarily a thing yeah. because like people, when they first played Street Fighter 4, it was like, this game has no fundamentals. <laughs> right, yeah. Right? You know, so it's like... It's not. That's not how it works. It's the nostalgic colored glasses for sure, yeah. right? But I'm just trying to figure out what it is about this game that makes everybody so frustrated. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's the lack of defensive options, like you were talking about. Yeah. That and and lack of different play styles. Yeah, and those I, are totally those are totally true things. Yeah. 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 Oof, man. I'm... But I like I, I like the game. I mean, I identify problems with it, like mm-hmm. I was just saying. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like if so, my my main concern as I said on the Twitter land, is that Ca- uh, Capcom does not let the game develop in a way that would lead to more complexity. Mm-hmm. And part of that is them getting rid of jump back or jump option select tech. Right. Because people had begun using a thing that, you know, allowed them to deal with multiple options defensively. Mm-hmm. Right? And it's not like it was brand new. It was known about an SF4. It was just, why would you bother? Because there were other options. Uh, but in, in SF5, it was more useful. So... I like that because it was the beginning of maybe more complexity. And then you, as you, with Crouch Tech, right? Crouch Tech was seen ri- ridiculously strong. And then people were like, 
why don't I delay my media attack? Right. And then uh, people were like, well, if you're going to delay your media attack, I'll do an immediate actual throw, and right. that'll beat it. So they would develop this right. interesting thing. Uh-huh. It, it, Crouch Tech, or sorry, a Jump OS Tech could have had the same yeah. mix-ups, but it's not going to because they're taking it out. So that's, and it's funny that's my concern, is that I Capcom even, doesn't let it grow. I still don't even think it's being taken out. It's still uh, going to well, be it was, it was in the, in, the, in the beta that came out. It, like, Tool Assisted did full testing on it. Like, what's the, if you press up, there's then a window where you cannot tech. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. they actually created a window. Yeah, they created a window. So Ooh, I, okay, um, okay. I don't know if that's what ended up in the patch, of course. We'll have to test that. Got but it, got it. Okay, okay. Actually gone, unfortunately. So, um, okay. Yeah, I think, that's, I think that's unfortunate. And I feel like that's... If, if that kind of thing keeps happening, because that's not the only piece of tech we're going to find. There's going to be more stuff. There always mm-hmm. is. I don't know what it is yet, but it's going to come. Will they let it stay? If not, then I'm worried because that means that we can't develop the interesting complexity. That means people feel like they can't control things, right? They're always put into a situation that they don't know what to do in. Yeah. So that's what I'm worried about more. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we'll have to see how it goes, I guess. I mean, we're going to have to keep going. I mean, because, like, I'm scared we're not going to have the chance to develop all this tech. Because if Marvel comes out and it's fun and amazing... Yeah. I and mean, this is something PR Og said to us. Yeah, right? oh, I like, agree with it. He was like, if Marvel is fun, everyone's just going to drop Street they Fighter might. because Capcom will put all their money into Marvel all of a sudden, you know? Yeah. And so it's kind of scary. Like, will Street Fighter V even have that chance? I don't know, man. Don't I know. really hope it don't does. Know. But in any case, I certainly hope that they... Uh... I mean, oh yeah, I don't care if it's king. Like let it let it die. You know, I mean that's fine. But it's just oh, it's just yeah, a shame. Yeah, yeah no, I don't it's want any shame. games to yeah, die. Yeah, right? exactly. Of course. So. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, very looks, interesting video, and I highly recommend it. Yeah. Some people are talking about the roster leak. Look, I. Just, uh, it's so easy to talk about any leaks. I can post up a leak right now if I wanted to. I just really don't care about leaks. Agreed. Yeah. NPCI yeah. leaks. Right. Yeah, the roster leak on NBCI. I E3 just, um, is coming up soon. We'll find out. Yeah, I know. At least part of it, probably. Don't even have to wait that long. It's like, right. It's like next week, right? Still so. bad about leaks. Come on. Oh, man. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, is it verified? I mean, like... What? The, the roster, is it verified? I mean, like... Oh, I don't know. I've not really paid attention to yeah. it, to be honest. Oh, I haven't had a chance to watch that yet. Uh, someone did do a counterpoint to Gerald's uh, video. Mm, I heard. I haven't seen yeah, that Yeah, I haven't seen it. I haven't liked on my Twitter, but Twitter likes are garbage pretty much, so I, it's hard for me to remember to go back and look at that. So. I really hope that they just pay attention, that they interface more with the community. I feel like that is yeah. the number one thing that I want from them mm-hmm. right now. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, do you want to take a quick break? Sure. And when we come back, we'll just squeeze everything else out. Squeeze it out. Squeeze it out. All right. Be right back. Be right back. Mm. 